Hi, I'm Judy Lynn. Welcome to the Monday Morning Shift. Today as I'm filming this, it's a Mother's Day. So happy belated Mother's Day to all you mamas out there. But I was thinking, you know, when I was pregnant with my first child, I remember being totally consumed with fear. Well, that was just one of the big major events in my life that I can remember being just absolutely paralyzed with fear for a while. And as life went on, then there was the getting the jobs and interviewing and being able to really be good at something that you love doing and the fear of not really making that happen, of not making enough money or being able to support our family. The fear of relationships and not really being able to develop and maintain a real healthy, happy relationship. Having been through a divorce, I know that fear. Fear in divorce. And what's going to happen now? My whole life has changed and turned upside down. And as life moves on, there's still more fear that crops into my life. Now I tell you, I've got tools to handle these things now, which I didn't back then, and I'm really happy to share them with you. But the fear that I that struck me recently, and it was just minor because I knew right away what to do, but I just got back from Kauai, and let me tell you, I'm 61 years old, and as I was looking at all those beautiful young women on the beach and by the pool, a little twinge of that fear struck me. Fear of growing older, of losing what I had, my looks, my vitality, my energy. And you know what? It's just paralyzing when you're struck with fear of any kind. So what I'd like to do for you and with you today is a little bit of tapping on the fear of growing older. Because no matter what age we are, there's always that unknown factor in the years ahead, right? And there's so many life transitions. And every time we go through a life transition, we're thinking, oh my God, I'm not young anymore. How am I gonna do this? And the truth of it is, we do it and we come out stronger. But we don't always realize that going into it. So I wanna do some tapping with you on the fear of growing older. Are you ready? I want you to start with the side of the hand and repeat after me. And I'm just going to be kind of general about this, but you just think about the things that you're fearful, fearful about. You know what they are when it comes to aging, okay? Even though I'm really feeling the resistance to growing older, I honor how I feel and who I am. Even though sometimes the fear of getting older really stops me in my tracks. I accept who I am and how I feel. Even though this age thing sucks. The media has it so, everyone's so beautiful and young and completely leaves me out. I feel it this resistance to aging. I accept who I am and how I feel. Let's go to the eyebrow point. <clears throat> I'm really feeling this resistance to aging. The fear of what's ahead. What lies ahead for me? The years are going by so fast. <clears throat> and I really feel it. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to have the energy that I used to have. I'm afraid that I won't have the vitality that was once mine. And do the things I love. I'm afraid I won't look as good as I used to. That really bothers me. I'm really afraid of aging. I have a fear that I'm going to lose it. Lose who I am. I'm feeling it every time I look in the magazine. 
every time I see those ladies on the beach. Every time I see a youthful company that doesn't include mature people, older people. They want the youth. Youth is revered in our country, in America. And I'm aging. And I'm afraid of that. What will become of me? I wonder if I could release this resistance. This constricted feeling about aging and getting older. I wonder <clears throat> if I could look at this a bit differently. I wonder if what I'm seeing is not the truth. The truth is, I haven't changed at all. I'm still the same person I always was, except for one thing. I'm wiser. I'm so much wiser. I have a lot more to give. I can share much more knowledge. Much more knowledge. That's a word, right? <laughs> I can share my wisdom. That's probably a really good thing. I wonder if I could look at this differently. There is beauty in age. And there's beauty in wisdom. There's a possibility that there's beauty, more beauty, than in youth. A different kind. That the marketers and in the magazines, the TV, don't recognize. I'm open to that possibility of truth. Because as long as I stay constricted and resisting my aging, I won't be happy. And I know this. So I release that resistance. I allow myself the freedom to age with grace and to love every moment that has passed in my life that has gotten me to this point. The good and the bad because it's made me who I am. And I choose to look at my aging in that way. And I release the fear of growing old. It is only a state of mind. And I choose to change my mind about what old is. Old is not old. It's a frame of mind. It's not an age. It's a frame of mind. And I choose to be in the frame of mind of youth. And along with that youth comes my wisdom and knowledge and all the experience that I've had in all the years that I've lived that I can share with others. I feel so excited and so exhilarated about another day going by where I can learn and share with others. And age with grace and know that I can grow older in any way I choose. And I choose growing older with grace 
and vitality and a youthful frame of mind. Thank you for joining me in that tapping sequence today on the fear of aging or growing older. You know, you don't have to be in your 50s or 60s to be hit with that bug. You can be hit with it at any age because the time just flies by, doesn't it? So make the best of it. Don't waste your time regretting that you're not 30, 40, 20, 10 years younger. Okay? So tap with me again soon. If you haven't signed up for the Monday Morning Shift newsletter yet, you can do that at HarmonicLivingNow.com. I'd love to have you join me. You'll get a video a lot like this in your inbox each week, along with a lot of other helpful, healthy tips to keep you young and youthful, no matter what your age. So until next week, you guys, go out there and make it your own.